Hey, my name is Fear Dragon, and I am here with the one and only Jen Snoot Asgard. What's the Jen Swallowed Asgard. I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's Jens in America. You're in America right now. Yeah, that is correct, but you can say Jens. Anyway, it's not too important. I mean, but then you just sound like I'm saying yams or something. Do you really want to be called yams? I can call you yams if you want. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so uh, we're here at DreamHack Austin. It's day one. The initial group stage is starting to play out right now, and uh, you don't have to worry about any of that for a while, do you? No. Well... I mean, it's probably wise for me to to see how it's going. Maybe watch some of the top players' games, but yeah, in general, just have to wait. Nice. How was your uh, trip over? Uh, it was great. I only had uh, one stop, so so good flight to New York, and then flying from New York to Austin. Yeah, it was pretty good. I slept most of the trip, and then not feeling particularly jet-lagged or anything, so it should be in good shape. Awesome. Expecting a good showing then? Nah, uh, maybe, maybe. I mean, I've been practicing a lot lately. I uh, I played a lot of ladder games, and I was able to increase my win rate against uh, Protoss by a lot. Got a little bit better against Terran, um, a little bit better against Herc. But I still find CVC and CVP very difficult. So, so I'm not super confident, but I think I think my level is it's okay right now. But not at a point where. I would be confident to say something like, yeah, I'm going to win this tournament or something, because there's too many good players here, especially especially uh, CVC and CVP is going to be rough. Yeah. Who are you most worried about right now? Uh, statistically, I would say I'm the weakest against Neeb. Um, maybe got a slightly higher chance, but not by much against Showtime. Mm -hmm. uh, Nurcio, Serral, uh, also very good players in the CVC matchup. I think if I were to face TLO, I would have trouble in CVC as well. Uh, you Thermal is definitely the Terran player that I struggle the most with, so I would rather play any other Terran but You Thermal. I think I would do better against someone like Masa Major um, compared to You Thermal. So there's a lot of players that I'm concerned about, but hopefully my recent improvements will uh, be able to carry me far. Yeah, you're one of the few European players also that ladder is also on the North American server. Do you feel like that gives you kind of any advantage in like knowing how some of the NA players are playing? Yeah, for sure. It's been a while since I played on NA, though. Uh, I really tried to play in the NA Ladder Heroes, but I just couldn't find the uh, <laughs> the bonus pool just kind of out, outran me. So I had a hard time catching up because people are playing so much on both ladders nowadays. So it's very hard to actually be on top on both unless you really try to play in the NA server. But uh, yeah, I chose to play mostly on Europe the last month, so I haven't been able to compete that much with the uh, NA scene. But I still have a lot of memories, and I do know, for example, uh, I do know how the different players play. I know Peely's style, I know Poke Bunny's style. Like I'm fami familiar with um, Jon Snow game time. Like I, I know how the different players play and what they're capable of. And uh, some of those players also play in Europe, so I have a good idea of what the field looks like. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, so, do you feel like there's any kind of dark horses that you? think people don't really know that much about or like a lot of people won't be giving us uh, enough respect as they deserve um, I think perhaps uh, that player for me this tournament would be Lombo I think Lombo has been improving very steadily the last couple of months so I think he can do something something good here Sunster is also very good um, I, I pay the closest attention to Serb players of course uh, so I'm not too sure about Protoss or Terran, but maybe um, I always feel like uh, Peely can be capable of um, quite a few upsets here and there. Well, I mean, he, he just has a high average level also, so I think I think maybe Peely should have some good results soon. But yeah, I think Lombo is probably the biggest or the best Dark Horse for me this tournament. Gotcha. So one kind of last question, more about you, and it's a more serious question, but like, after losses, you tend to be one of the players that really gets pretty down on yourself and everything. I think a couple instances come to mind. Uh, do you feel like it's just because you are super emotionally invested in the game? Like, what what makes it so much harder for you to like bounce back from losses? Especially when I feel like a lot of those losses they come in like the grand finals or like semifinals or something. You've made a really good run in the tournament. Uh, well, I mean. I don't think anyone likes to lose, for example. It's just, 
I don't think I'm particularly worse nowadays, at least compared to others. But yeah, it's it's like you said, um, quite in quite emotionally invested into the game. But I think lately it's not that bad, and uh, uh, I tend to bounce back from from losses more or less. Like uh, in yeah, I don't know. Like I went out early at BlizzCon, and that was awful, of course. But I also bounced back a couple of weeks later in yeah. other tournaments. So it's like. Yeah, I, I don't necessarily feel that same way, of course. I don't think anyone likes losing, but you just bounce back. Yeah, I feel like you've definitely improved in a lot of that then. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I try not to think too much uh, of the past, but I think the, the mindset got a little bit better. But also, my, my average level has gone, gone up as well. I mean, in the end, it's just about skill, right? Of course, you're going to lose sometimes, and it's just about getting better at the game, and that's it. Okay, cool. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Do you have any kind of final shout-outs? I also want to hear one interesting fact about you that nobody else knows. <laughs> you can think about it while you do your shout-outs. Yeah, shout-outs to uh, Team Liquid, the best team with the best teammates and the best sponsors. So big shout-outs to uh, Team Liquid. Check us out on Twitter. Visit the website, uh, teamliquidpro.com and uh, teamliquid.net. Shout-out to everyone there and everyone doing good stuff in StarCraft. Ravi, thanks for the interview, and uh, thanks to everyone cheering me on this tournament. The uh, interesting fact is that, well, it can be StarCraft related, right? It can be anything. It can be 99% useless. No, I'm just going to say I practiced really hard for this tournament, and uh, it, I might get a tough opponent and lose in the round of 16, for example. That's very much so possible. But I practiced really hard for this, and I was able to, for the first time, hit 7,000 MMR on the Europe ladder. So I think I'm getting a little bit better. And uh, I hope I can keep a 7K MMR level here at this tournament. There you go, man. All right, we'll see you guys next time.